so sorry, Mandy. Thank you for coming, Miss Piney. But it was something, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I've always loved you, sweetheart. I love you, too. Take care. Thank you. Take care. So, where is she? She's on her way. Mm -hmm. This woman. I just want to wrap my Mom. fingers around her skinny little... Mother, nickel. please. What, huh? Are you with me? Yes, dear. What, what is it? I mean, is she coming or not? I, I can't wait to meet her. She's on her way. Just please be civil. Well, what is she like? She's not you. Of course she's not me, because I'm your mother. And she's just some kind of, I don't know. Like mother, please. A succubus. Succubus? Really? Yes. I mean, I could use other words, but I won't in present company. We are the only ones here, mother. Your father's here. You know what? This is crazy. This is absurd. I, it is odd. Odd? This is ludicrous. I mean, this is painful. I'm leaving. Please don't. Tell me why I should stay here one more second. It was his dying wish. Mom, please. Oh, that man knew I wouldn't be able to say no to you. You look so much like him, especially around the eyes. You have your father's eyes. Don't get me wrong, son. I loved your father very much. I mean, almost to distraction. I'm not sure he knew how much. But that's why this is so hard for me, you know, to meet this, his new wife. Elizabeth. Yes, the succubus. You like her, don't you? I do. Why? Is she pretty? Yes, but mom, Elizabeth is a nice person. Oh, really? Yes, talk to her. You might like her. Oh, believe you me. I'm gonna have a talk with her. Mother, she is grieving just like the rest of us. She didn't come out of respect for you, even though I know she wanted to be here. I'll be sure to show her the same respect she showed me. Mother, please be nice. I'll be nice. You know, I'm proud of you. What? Why? It's not your responsibility to be proud of me. I'm your mother. I'm proud of you. I know. I'm pretty awesome. Oh my God. You're so much like him. You know the Lord does not like a proud tongue. <laughs> no, I imagine he doesn't. I'm gonna slap the taste out of her mouth. Mother, just be nice. Hi, Charles. It's so good to see you. My father loved you very much. Thank you. This is my mother. Mom, this is Elizabeth. Hello. Hello. It's nice to finally meet you. May I call you Mandy? Why would you do that? All right, Amanda it is. Um, you can call me Liz if you'd like. Fine. Thanks, Elizabeth. Oh, please, just Liz. OK, fine. Charles? Yeah? I'd like to leave now. Um, wait. Wait? It was your father's dying wish that I meet this pleasant young woman. And now that I've met her, I want to go home. You can't. Why? 
Oh my God, you didn't tell her? Tell me what? She wouldn't have come. Charles! <sighs> 10 years ago, Dad's got a life insurance policy. I know. A million dollars, you know, in case he died. And? Well, about six months ago, we had a language change to have two benefactors. Okay, I mean, that's only fair. I knew about the policy. I plan on sharing no. it with you anyway. No, Mom, you don't understand. The two benefactors are you and Liz. Oh, that's just perfect! And wait, there's catch. In order to receive any of the money, you have to bury him by hand. And if either one of you refuses, the full million goes to the other. Did you know about this? Yes, I think it's quite beautiful. Oh, shut up. You mean to tell me that your dead father expects me to spend the next few hours shoveling dirt on his coffin with this twit? Something like that. Oh, don't be vague, son. Yes, mother, that is exactly what he wanted. For a half a million dollars. Yes. I have gloves, boots, shoes, a work shirt, and a hat. They're all in the back seat of the car in the beach bag. Mother? M mother? Think she'll do it? I don't know. I couldn't make it to the service today. I wanted to be there, but uh, Charles thought it would be best if I hung back. Uh, she's unique. <sighs> you know, I got up this morning and I, uh, I made myself eggs. <laughs> I fucking hate eggs. came by the other day. And I tried to pay him, but he, uh, he wouldn't take my money. So. <laughs> Mitchell, I love you. And I always will. <laughs> what in the world are you doing? You scared me. Where's, uh, where's Charles? In the car. Listen, I, I was just, um, I was just having a little ceremony, Mitchell. Always liked wine. No. Because it looked like you were pouring a perfectly good bottle of wine on a dead man. No, but that's not what I was doing. Look, this is how this is going to go. 
We are gonna bury this motherfucker and then we are never gonna speak to each other again. In fact, let's start to not speaking to each other immediately. So I don't think that's what Mitchell wanted. <laughs> I don't care what Mitchell wanted. What I want is to fill this hole, get my money and be on my way. Amanda. Quiet. Please. No. I really think that. No. Look, I'm not playing with you. So either you get to shoveling or you get to walking. God damn it, you don't think this is hard for me too? I can't sleep. I'm up every night just wondering what the fuck to do. What have you come up with? You know, that's just it. I, I have no idea what to say or do. And I'm sorry. You know, Mitchell always said you were you were the most elegant creature he had ever seen. Well, then why do you leave me? People change. Maybe it was time for you both to move on, even if you weren't ready. What else do you say about me? You were special. You made people feel safe. He said he loved you. Tell you I could be overbearing sometimes. Sometimes. You know, you're a real piece of work, you know that? I didn't come up here to upset you. I know. How old are you anyway? I mean, you can't be more than 30. 28. Oh, Lord. Very pretty. Thank you. It's not a compliment. You, uh, you like the wine? Yes. I assume Mitchell took you up to the coast? Yeah, to a little bed and breakfast. Uh-huh. <laughs> On the beach right off the highway? Yeah. He proposed to me there. I know. He told me. He proposed to you there, too? No. Really? Amanda Mitchell never proposed to me. What? He never asked me to marry him. I don't understand. I proposed to him. Elizabeth, can I ask you something? Please. You like a like a professor of poetry or something like that? I'm actually a grad student. Humanities. I teach poetry to undergrads. Mitchell and poetry, you know, it's kind of hard to imagine. <laughs> Why him? Why? You knew he was married. We don't. We don't choose who or when we fall in love. That right there is some bullshit, okay? It was selfish. He was selfish. You are selfish. Listen, you don't have any right to be upset with him. Oh, hell no! You're not gonna tell me how to feel, huh? I have every right to be upset with him and with you. You're the one who waltzed in here and took my marriage. And then you expect me to stand here I listen to you talk about the last few years that you spent with my husband. Years that should have been mine. I didn't take anything from you. You shut him out and you shut him down. Your friends were no longer his and you stopped fighting. I don't fight. <laughs> well, maybe you should, you stupid old woman.
he was kind and generous. Maybe if you had fought for him like I did, you could have kept him. You know, he came to see me the night that he found out about the cancer. I don't believe you. In fact, he said it was your idea. No, you're lying. You're not lying. No, I'm not. You know, that night he came home. He was so upset. I thought it was the cancer, but it was you. I knew that night that I would never see him again. Yeah, we never made love after that. If I remember correctly, honey, you didn't miss much. I mean, a man couldn't kiss to save his life. So. Oh, God, what was that thing that he always did with his tongue? It was like, a fish is left. And clumsy? Half the time I was screaming is because he was on my hair. Right, me too. <laughs> Yes, Miss Liz, I think I do. <laughs> Let's go. Ah. Oh, old hips up there. <laughs> Knock me down. <laughs> Charles! Bury your father, Charles. But Charles, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna leave me here. Yeah, it's okay. But you two were supposed to bury him. We are. But first, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna find your father's bottle of Louis the Thirteenth that he has hidden in his study. And then we're gonna come back out here and we're going to supervise the burial of our dearly departed husband. <laughs> Shall we, Mrs. Moore? Oh, yes, Mrs. Moore. That sounds like a fine idea. Mwah. Get started, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 